It's an iconic photo that's now on a new canvas. On Saturday at Battleship Cove, the painting Victory Kiss was unveiled, commissioned by aviation art collector Eugene Eisenberg, based on the photo of Rhode Island sailor George Mendoza kissing a nurse in Times Square at the end of World War II. He had been in Radio City Music Hall. So they stopped the show and they said, we're putting the lights on, we stopped the show, the war's over. Now 90 years young, he remembers it vividly. He said it was wild in the streets, everyone celebrating, and he had remembered months earlier in the Pacific before he came home, nurses on board a hospital ship helping wounded sailors. But I honestly believe if that girl did not have a nurse's uniform on, that I wouldn't have done that kiss. A kiss that's now symbolic of the end of World War II and that was the subject of debate for years over who the soldier was. North Kingstown author Lawrence Verrier wrote the book The Kissing Sailor. The fact that we were able to make sure that during his lifetime he gets the recognition that he deserves was the purpose of the book. And the fact that that's happening uh, makes it all worthwhile. Saturday's unveiling part of Navy Day here at Battleship Cove that included a poignant POW MIA table ceremony. A black napkin, inverted glass among the symbols to represent those who are no longer here. As we look upon this empty table, do not remember ghosts from the past, but remember our comrades. A weekend to remember service and sacrifice, and that despite the joy represented in this iconic kiss, there were many who never came home.